Lieutenant Colonel Adam J. Lewis. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Craig Nettles, the Senior Non-Commissioned Officer, Master Trainer, and Principal Advisor to the Commander. The Commander of Troops will now bring forward the colors of the persons to be honored. It is appropriate for soldiers not in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Please be seated. Lieutenant Colonel Lewis and Command Sergeant Major Nettles will now present the awards. The outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for Company A is Drill Sergeant Kimberly Wheeler from Antietam, Maryland. Private Nicholas Bijou from Orlando, Florida. The soldier of the cycle for Company A is Specialist Sarah Gossett from Bella, Pennsylvania.
outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Company E is drill sergeant Mars Owens from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The soldier leader of the cycle for Company E is Private Johanna Lefty from Kalispell, Montana. The soldier of the cycle for Company E is Private Parker Eicher from Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> the outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for Company E is drill sergeant Joseph Quigley from Shiloh, Tennessee. The soldier leader of the cycle for Company E is Private Megan Barnes from Stewartstown, Pennsylvania. The soldier of the cycle for Company E is Private Bailey Walters from Halstead, Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lewis. Good morning, Colonel Shade, distinguished guests, families and friends of the River Raiders. Thank you for being here and celebrating graduation with these great soldiers. The 594 soldiers in front of you today joined the United States Army for a variety of reasons. Some, they joined for the sheer challenge of it all. Others, for a patriotic calling. Many were just looking for a change. For several of these soldiers, it was because a mother, father, brother, or sister, or family member, or friend had served before them. All good reasons. And when they arrived here at Fort Jackson in late May, many of them quickly realized that they were taking on what very well might be the greatest challenge of their life. And the 594 in front of you, well, they were up to that challenge. They now join the ranks of military members past and present. They are part of the greatest team ever assembled. In fact, some of those teammates are here today, and I would like to take this opportunity to recognize them. If you are a veteran, would you please stand and allow us to thank you. All veterans, please stand, ladies and gentlemen. to you the journey the warriors in front of you have taken over the last 10 weeks. They arrived to 360 infantry on 30 May. As their buses pulled up and these soldiers moved off, they immediately encountered their company's drill sergeants. These drill sergeants, highly trained professional non-commissioned officers, immediately introduced these former civilians to basic army concepts like leader-assisted motivation, moving with a purpose, military authority, attention to detail, teamwork. Their first night was most likely a little bit of a culture shock. These soldiers in front of you learned that 50 people with only 14 shower stalls can easily shower in under 30 minutes. This leaves plenty of time a whole additional 30 minutes to clean the latrine, organize their wall lockers, and make their pace just shine. And then, after a nice, soft, quiet, relaxing first night's sleep, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> These former civilians were not so calmly awoken the next morning by their drill sergeant. By 5.30 a.m. they were conducting physical training on the battalion PT field. And many were probably thinking, I can't wait until the weekend so I can sleep in. 
<laughs> well, shortly thereafter, they learned that Saturday well, looks a lot like Friday. And every other weekday before that. However, on Sunday, they did receive just a little extra rest and were allowed to sleep in until 6 a.m. <laughs> With these basic building blocks in place, the drill sergeant were able to transform these civilians into the soldiers standing before you today. These soldiers learned and now embody the Army values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Their first week was about discipline, becoming a soldier. They conducted countless bank equipment inspections. They learned how to lunch. Shortly thereafter, they gained trust in the military equipment by wearing their protective masks in a gas chamber filled with CS gas. Well, then they really learned to trust their equipment when told, while still in the gas-filled chamber, to take their masks off. They spent three weeks learning how to accurately fire their weapon, gaining confidence in their training, their leaders, and themselves. They learned first aid, fighting techniques, a new way to say their ABCs and how to count. Then, when we tested them to see who retained the training, on their own, with no outside help, and only their military equipment, each of them were forced to complete a series of challenging yet critical working tasks. This earned these soldiers the right to participate in basic combat training's culminating exercise, Victory Forge. Here, in an austere environment, with very little sleep, plenty of dirt, these soldiers conducted patrols and defended themselves against a notional but challenging enemy. Working on critical skills they will need in their military profession. They endured simulated weapons, artillery, and chemical attacks, tough conditions, forcing them to rely on their training, their teammates, and their equipment. Exhausted, dirty, hungry, under cover of darkness, each one of these soldiers completed a 10 mile movement on foot, live fired their weapon one final time, and then proudly marched back to our battalion, the place where it all began, completing their training and earning the title of American soldier. I'll close by emphasizing how proud we all are of your soldiers here today. I know I speak for all of the 360 infantry drill sergeants, cadre and leaders, and St. River Raiders, great job. You should be proud of your accomplishments. You met the standard, and then some. Hold your heads high, and carry this momentum forward into your careers. Our Army needs you, trained and ready. Trust your leaders, stay fit, stay proficient in your tasks and drills, be resilient, and most importantly, take care of your buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army's newest soldiers, the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, the River Raiders.
To the soldiers on the field, you have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of unshakable commitment to the ideals upon which this nation was founded and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Private Bijou leads the soldiers to be standing before you in reciting the Soldier's Creed. Please be seated. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all the soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until it is passed to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees, please meet your soldier under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends, please meet your soldier to the far right of the bleachers at the end of the parade field.
the 282nd Marty Band, commanded by the Chief Board Officer of Green, George Bauer. The drum major is First Sergeant Daniel Welch. First platoon is led by Drill Sergeant Griffin Perry from Passerine Pass, Tunisia. I need solidity. <laughs> Thank you. 